Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today's draft content, we're going to talk about Jonathan Mingo. And again, it's wide receiver week here. Uh, hopes of giving you the top nine at nine. Ain't no hopes. We're giving you the top nine at nine this Sunday at nine o'clock. So be prepared for that. And what that means is the top nine wide receivers in this draft from my point of view. But today we're going to talk about Jonathan Mingo, wide receiver Ole Miss, 6'2", 220. And um, I'm going to go out on a limb and say this because I don't compare players a lot. But this is A.J. Brown clone same number same school pretty much as aj brown uh, and when you're looking at his pff numbers and like as far as that chart his catch chart he's a deep ball guy um run is good at screens and doesn't mind blocking he can block in in different situations and i'll show you here in a minute his catch rate was 60.8 percent which aj's was a little higher than that uh contested catches 46.7 percent he only had three drops though only had three drops this year at Ole Miss. He had 48 catches for 808 yards. Without further ado, let's get into Jonathan Mingo. Before we get started, I want to do something real quick and thank all the contributors to the Sip the Tally Films via Patreon, and you see their names on the screen right there. Those are all the people that are at the $5 level, and I also want to go and thank some of my upper level guys uh, for being gunslingers. Brandon's on the Wall of Fame. You know, he's special. Chris, Jared Green, Lunch Break Hot Take, appreciate you guys. Tyrone Tyrone, Will G, and Yolanda B. Thank you guys for being Patreon. I appreciate all the support that you do for us the Tally Films. Now on to the film. Alright, film time. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified when these random videos drop throughout the 2023 draft season. Draft spot a month away. Make sure you be here so you don't miss any of this draft content that's coming up over the next four weeks. Also, check out more Sit the Talent. We have other draft prospects over there. I'd appreciate if you go over there and get at a sub and like and comment over there too also. Uh, full disclosure, this is the fourth take on this Jonathan Mingo film because of user error. I've done something different wrong three straight times and now I think I got everything straight. And so uh, let's get started. First play for Jonathan Mingo blocking and you'll see him blocking a variety of different ways this this um film session and because i want to talk about his versatility you see him blocking the receiver right there and once he gets engaged his hands are inside feet moving and great effort because blocking is effort it's effort and you either want to or you don't and in my opinion if you don't want to i don't want to throw you the ball i don't want to call plays for you to get the ball that but that's my two cents <laughs> but then good job of blocking on the edge right there um, as far as with a DB. Let's go to the second play. Now, this play is not completed. It's a, it's not a completion. But look at the concentration. Look at the eyes to the, to the ball, the extension. It's a beautiful thing when I pause it. Watch this. Elevate, high point, eyes to the ball, catch it. Only thing missing, toe drag sway. And, you know, the flight of the ball has something to do with that, but that is a great, like if, if, if I still play and I can get a picture, like I could, if somebody was close, like if this cat right here in the white was taking a picture and he took a picture of that, that'd be the picture I love right there. But again, eyes to the ball, hands going to come up, bring it all the way down to the tuck. Only thing missing is toe drag swag. Third play post. Now, what's going to happen on this post is Vanderbilt's in cover four. And there are a couple plays on this video there in cover four. And they're going to run a play similar to something that I had in my playbook. And we called it money. But what would happen for this, it's a little variation. But for, for this play, you'll get this guy. He's going to run like an in cut. And this safety's going to take him because he's in his zone. And what that does is that voids all this space back here behind the safety. That voids all this space. And so instead of this safety here having... 25% of the field, because, you know, that's what quarters is. Now he got 50, but he ain't expecting it. And so Mingo's just going to get inside of him and run a deep post. It's going to be all she wrote. Let me get that off. It's going to be all she wrote. 
Watch the safety bite on the dead. Mm. Now look at all that space he got. He 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 knows right now he just gotta outrun that safety. He just gotta outrun that safety. And the quarterback gotta keep it in the middle of the field. And he does. And he slows down just enough to catch the ball, but it's fast enough to run away from the defender. And that sound crazy, but watch. He's fast enough to run away from the defender, but slows down enough to catch the ball because it's short. Play four. Yak. Yeah. On this play right here, just the slightest thing of making a guy miss turns what should be no gain into a first down. A, like a 12-yard gain. Because he should technically probably be tackled for no gain right there. Because nobody blocks that guy. Nobody blocks him. But he makes a miss, sticks, sticks their feet in the ground with the jab step, accelerates. Now, two guys, he dragging two guys right now. He ain't at the first down marker yet. Then he falls forward for another four yards. Versatility, toughness. Again, reminding me of A.J. Brown. Now, right here, you got him blocking a linebacker. And not just big bumping, and they're blocking him well. Like, the linebacker can't even do nothing. Like, if the linebacker wanted to go underneath or over the top, he couldn't. Perfect position. And if they ran, if they would have gave the ball to the running back on this um, counter bash, look, the running back, nobody's here with the running back. Uh, Mingo's blocked this guy down. You got a, a, a lead on whoever this was. I don't know where he came from. On this cornerback, probably should have handed this ball off. And instead of just getting that, you probably got a home run. Probably got a touchdown. But, again, that's set up by the great block of Mingo. Next play, inline blocking. And this is kind of some of the stuff Cooper Cup does too. Cooper Cup is always in here behind the line of scrimmage doing stuff. Sometimes he's lined up in a wing and he'll fold in there and block on the linebacker. He'll be lined up right here and he'll kind of block out. Cooper Cup does a lot of stuff. And if you can get a guy that has the ability to block as well as be probably one of the greatest receivers, not saying Mingo will be there, but I'm talking about Cooper Cup, you know. But this is split zone. Now, we saw him block. We saw him block a receiver, I mean a cornerback, on the edge. We saw him block a linebacker down in the box. Now he's blocking the edge man, the end, end man on line of scrimmage, which is the edge guy. And not only does he do it well, does a great job of it because they run right off of his block. The hole he keeps open, that's where they hit it at. Hit it at. And, it, and it's wide enough where the, the running back can get a full head of steam and finish the run. So we've seen him blocking in three different areas. We block, seen him blocking receivers. I'm sorry, corners. We saw him blocking linebackers. Then just then you saw him blocking edge defenders. But this play right here was set up so masterfully because he just kept going in there blocking the linebacker on some kind of toss or counter play. And they were waiting on it. But he was waiting on them to wait on it and got over top of it. He's a home run hitter too. Because I don't know how fast he is. Somebody put in the comment section, you know, what his 40 time was at, at the combine. Or even, even even if he was at the combine. Yeah, he was at the combine because he was on my list. Tell me what his 40 time was. But again, uh, him and Lane Kiffin set this up masterfully. Uh, like two or three plays before that, he went down there and cracked that linebacker. Cracked that linebacker. He went that time and the safety tried to feel on the crack. And they feel right over his head. Last play. Again, ability to make guys miss. And it's just a uh, screen. Just a tunnel screen. The lineman blocking good. He has one guy he has to make miss, which he does right there. Then he turns the afterburner zone. Again, I don't know how fast he is. Somebody, you know, tell me what he ran to the combine, put it in the comment section, and go from there. And, you know, I think this dude's an A.J. Brown clone. I really like what I really like his game. I like what I see out of him. Um, that's my spiel on him. We'll see, you know, what happens in the draft a month from now. So do me a favor. If you have not, like the video. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that bell so you can be notified throughout this 2023 draft season. And if you want to continue this conversation somewhere else or have more reach to me, you need to do get in the Discord and do that. And to get in the Discord, you have to be a member of the Patreon. Patreon.com backslash sip the tally where you can sign up. If you're any one of those tiers, the first thing is access to the Discord. And we talk ball. We have we crack jokes. We have fun over there. So um, if you want to be a part of that community, please consider joining the Patreon. Uh, again, don't forget about more Sip the Tally. We got more draft picks over there. And then Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we have 
Ravens daily at 4.30 p.m. Eastern time. The first two days have been great. Day three is tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. And again, I appreciate you guys for coming out. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. And again, this is take four. Hopefully, I got it right this time. I'm normally one take Drake, but tonight I am not. Players have bad games too.